Hello and welcome to What's Next Weekly, Premier NX's weekly podcast for forward-thinking leaders who aren't just keeping up with change, they're defining what comes next. I'm Alex Reed. And I'm Sophia Grant. Each week, we break down the biggest challenges and opportunities in business growth, digital transformation, and AI, giving you the insights you need to lead with confidence. In today's episode, we're shifting our focus to a powerful new force in business, agentic AI. We'll move beyond the hype to examine the real data on its adoption, the clear areas where CFOs are finding value, and uh, the critical cautions holding them back. Most importantly, we'll discuss how to navigate this new terrain, striking the balance between autonomous efficiency and essential human oversight. Let's get started. Okay. So let's dig in. For a long time, AI in the finance department felt, well, theoretical, didn't it? Something for the future. Absolutely. But that future arrived incredibly fast. We're talking about agentic AI going from basically zero to CFO test runs in, what, 90 days? 90 days. That's remarkable. It is. And just to be clear, agentic AI isn't just chatbots. These are systems that can actually do things, multi-step tasks, making decisions based on conditions autonomously. Right. Not just analysis, but action. Exactly. This is happening now. It's real world implementation. Okay, so if it's moving that fast, Mm -hmm. where are finance leaders actually using it? Where's the immediate payoff? Well, it's interesting. The adoption is quite um, surgical. Over 10% of CFOs are already testing or using it. 10% already? Wow. Yeah, but they're really zeroing in on specific areas, high impact, data heavy, repeatable tasks. We see huge interest, like 70% in financial planning and analysis. FP&A, that makes sense. Lots of data modeling. Precisely. Perfect for scenario planning, looking backwards to predict forwards, that kind of thing. And right behind it, you've got financial reporting and cost management, both around 63% interest. Okay, high value stuff that can be standardized. Right. Areas ripe for automation. But what about the risk? Where are they drawing the line? Oh, the caution is very clear. Anything high stakes, high risk, much less interest. Think treasury management only about uh, 31.7% interest there. Okay, so definitely not letting AI manage the cash autonomously. Not yet, no. Yeah. And that really brings us to this critical trust gap. Right. You mentioned that. If over 10% are testing it, why is the data showing that 0%, literally none, are willing to give agentic AI full access to all their internal data? Yeah. Isn't that striking? It really is. Is it just fear or is the tech not ready? I don't think it's fear in the traditional sense. It's more a... um, a fundamental understanding of governance, that 0% figure. It screams the need for control, for security architecture. Mm. It's basically a non-negotiable design requirement from the CFO's perspective. And that requirement, that's the real challenge for mid-market companies, right? The ones doing, say, $100 million to a billion in revenue. Exactly. They need that efficiency boost AI can offer, maybe even more than the big enterprises. But they absolutely cannot afford the risk or the bureaucracy of some massive unproven deployment. That's it, precisely. So full autonomy isn't the answer for them. The solution is more like an intelligent co-pilot. The human in the loop model. Yes, exactly. We call it the human in the loop philosophy. Let the agentic AI do the heavy lifting, process the data, run the forecast, flag the weird stuff. Okay. But the experienced human, they provide the strategy, they set the rules, they understand the context, and crucially, they give the final sign off. It's about augmenting the team you have, not replacing judgment. That makes so much sense. Augmentation, not replacement, especially for leaner teams. Right. So if you're a leader listening to this and you're thinking about agentic AI, what are the key takeaways, the practical advice? Okay. Three main principles, I think. First, always start with the business strategy. What problem are you actually trying to solve? Don't start with the tech. Strategy first. I got it. Second, build in explicit control and really robust security from day one. Address that trust gap in the architecture itself. Don't bolt it on later. Control and security baked in. Makes sense. And third, especially for the mid-market, find a partner who offers guided expertise. You need more than just software. You need a consultative approach because you probably don't have a huge internal AI team to figure it all out. So strategy, control, and guided expertise. That's the framework. Okay. So to recap, the shift is incredibly fast. The value is clear in areas like FP&A, reporting, cost management, but that human in the loop model, that co-pilot idea is absolutely essential for doing it safely and effectively. Couldn't have said it better. And maybe a final thought to leave you with. Please. Given that everyone agrees, rightly, that AI shouldn't have total data access or autonomy right now, 
Maybe the real question isn't just what AI can do. Maybe it's about how you design the entire system, the architecture, to permanently guarantee the human is always the final decision maker for anything important. Ensuring zero unsupervised risk architecturally. Exactly. How do you build that guarantee right into the foundation? That's a powerful point to consider. Thank you for breaking that down for us. My pleasure. If you're looking to maybe move from these insights to actually taking action, we put together a detailed blog post. It, it dives a bit deeper into the data and you know the frameworks we talked about today. You can find that plus the show notes and more resources right on our website. That's premiernx.com. Yeah, and we genuinely love to hear your perspective too. How's your organization thinking about agentic AI? What's maybe your biggest challenge in finding that balance between uh, automation and control? Share your thoughts with us over on LinkedIn. Just tag Premier and X and use the hashtag, hashtag What's Next Weekly. And of course, if you found today's discussion valuable, please do subscribe to What's Next Weekly on you know whatever podcast platform you use, leaving a rating or even a quick review. It really helps us connect with more leaders like you. Definitely. Join us again next week on What's Next Weekly, Premier and X's weekly podcast. We'll be continuing to explore how you can turn these emerging technologies into, well, your most reliable advantage. Until then, keep building What's Next.